San Marcos domestic violence attorney. Hi, my name is Dodd. I'm the founder of Dodd Law. My firm is in Vista, California, downtown San Diego, and Santa Ana, California. Today, what we're going to talk about is a San Marcos domestic violence case. Now, if you or your loved one have recently been arrested for domestic violence in San Marcos, you've come to the right place. Stick around. I think you're going to like this video. My name is Dodd. My firm is Dodd Law. Now, sorry that we're meeting on these terms, but if you've come to watch this video, there's a very high probability that you have recently been arrested, you're under investigation for a domestic violence case in San Marcos. Now, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, so you can get notifications when I put out these videos. And really all I'm trying to do by putting out these videos is to educate the public just so you understand what you're going up against when you go to court on your San Marcos DUI or San Marcos domestic violence case. Now look, in any domestic violence case, just because you were arrested doesn't automatically mean that charges are going to be filed, right? So every day we get calls from people who are in a bad position who have recently been arrested for domestic violence in San Marcos. And the first thing they say to me, hey Dodd, am I going to jail? That's the first thing everybody wants to know. My life is over. My reputation is done. Am I gonna keep my job? I'm gonna lose my job. What about my kids? There's so many things right now that are going through your mind. And what I'm here to tell you, it's all gonna work out. Everything's gonna be fine. Because in California, anytime somebody makes a domestic disturbance call, anytime the police come out to a domestic disturbance incident, somebody's getting arrested. That's the law. So whether you called the police and they came out, you just wanted to teach the spouse a lesson, someone's going to jail. Why? Because if somebody does not go to jail and the police leave and something happens, that's gonna fall on the police department. So for liability purposes, they're gonna arrest somebody. And then ultimately, the DA is gonna decide whether or not they're gonna file charges on your San Marcos domestic violence case. Now, the most important part of your domestic violence case is prior to charges being filed. Now, what is the typical, typical San Marcos domestic violence case? The typical case is, Police come out, you're arrested, you're hit with a $50,000 bail, which is a felony, you bail out, you have a court date coming up in about seven to 10 days at the Vista Courthouse, 325 South Melrose. That's the most common San Marcos domestic violence case you know, that we get here at my firm. So what's gonna happen is from the time you were arrested and you bailing out and you're watching this video, you need to get an attorney on board so we can try to convince the DA's office not to file charges against you. Now, what does that mean? Dodd, they've already charged me. No, they haven't. You have not been charged yet. You were arrested. You were booked. You then bailed out and charges have not been filed yet. The police officers just make a report and they're gonna give it to the DA's office. And ultimately, it's gonna be the DA's office who determines whether or not charges are going to be filed. And this is where we come in, the attorneys. This is where we try to intercept it, right? So just imagine, you know, you get an attorney on board, we're gonna be right away in contact with the DA's office in hopes that you and I will never have to meet at the Vista Courthouse, never. We will never have to meet under those terms. And the goal is that you get your case rejected and dismissed prior to us even going to court. Now everyone always says, well, Don, what are the chances of that happening? And you know, I wish I can give chances and probabilities in any San Marcos domestic violence case, in any criminal case. I wish I can give chances and percentages. Unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, California State Bar rules, uh, ethical violation if we give you any promises or guarantees or percentage. So 
we cannot give any promises or guarantees, but what we can tell you is that, you know, I've been doing this for 21 years and, you know, we're going to do anything in our power to try to get your case rejected before we even go to court. Now, Don, how do you do that? You know, what do you do? How do you get the case dismissed before you even go to court? And there's a lot involved. You know, we get a lot of mitigation from you. We get, we could get letters. We can get your awards. We can get diplomas. We can get proof of employment. You know, we don't want to get letters from your employer because then it's going to let your employer know that you were recently arrested. And for a lot of you, this is the most embarrassing and most humiliating time of your life and you don't want anybody to know and we get it so we might not go down the character letter route now if this was an incident that was alcohol induced meaning you guys were both drunk you know we might start you on a few aa classes right away and some anger management classes right away and have those done in a few days and we can give that to the da's office in hopes that you know charges do not get filed now there's a lot more involved in us the attorney convincing the DA's office and Vista, why they should not file charges on your San Marcos domestic violence case. But the most important part of your San Marcos domestic violence case to get the attorney on board immediately so we can try to prevent this case from going to a courtroom and charges being filed. Because once charges are filed against you, now we have an uphill battle. Because now charges have been filed. And the DA is not going to just dismiss your San Marcos domestic violence case after they file charges. You know, after they file charges, there's really two things that can happen in the case. You beat the case either at a preliminary hearing or you're found not guilty at trial or you do a plea bargain and you plead to something and that's kind of where you stand. So once they file charges against you, it's a whole different ballgame. That's why we try to do all the work on the front end so we can try to prevent charges from being filed and for you and I ever meeting in court. Now, what happens if your case gets rejected and we don't have court? What's going to happen? Well, the arrest will be on your record unless we do something and it's called a certificate of detention. So we got to contact the agencies. We got to write them letters. We got to let them know that case was rejected. We want a certificate of detention. A certificate of detention basically means that you were only detained. It's not an arrest. The arrest won't even be on your record anymore. So even though your San Marcos domestic violence case was rejected, dismissed, the arrest will be there unless we get a certificate of detention, which completely wipes everything away. So let's summarize. Now you're watching this video because you've recently been arrested for a San Marcos domestic violence case. You're stressed out. You think your life is over. You think you're going to lose your kids. You think you're going to lose your job, your reputation. Don't stress out. You know, give us a call. 619-814-5110. 619-814-5110. We have an office downtown San Diego, an office in Vista right across the street from the courthouse where your court is going to be if you were arrested for a San Marcos domestic violence case. You know, you can get us on board right away. We'll contact the DA's office. We'll do whatever we can in our power to try to get your case dismissed before we go to court. Also get that certificate of detention so the arrest is completely wiped off your record. Thank you for watching this video in its entirety. If you found it useful, again, please subscribe to our channel hit that like button, hit the notification bell so we can you can get notified every time we put out these videos. Once again, give us a call for a free consultation. My name is Dodd. I'm the founder of Dodd Law. My office is right across the street from the Vista Courthouse. I'm very sorry that you were arrested on a San Marcos domestic violence case. It's going to all work out. Have a great day.